Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the equation y equals mx plus b, which is to do with the slope and the y-intercept. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. Good luck with this one. It's a little bit interesting, isn't it? Doesn't tell you much, but it's very interesting. Slope and y-intercept. y equals mx plus b. Consider the red line which is drawn on the number plane. That's this line here. Notice it continues infinitely in both directions. Notice that it cuts the x-axis at minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0, which is there. And the y-axis at 0, 4. 0, 4, which is there. We can calculate two pieces of information which will allow us to write down the equation of this line. The next slide will present more information about this process. Some information about y equals mx plus b. The equation is written in a special form. Hence, it allows us to write down the equation of a line if we have two specific pieces of information. When the equation is written in the above exact form, the letter M and the letter B represent the following. M is the slope or gradient and B is the y-intercept. Slope and y-intercept, y equals mx plus b. For the line we saw earlier, let us calculate the slope or the gradient. As you may know, the formula for slope or gradient represented by m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is, the difference of the y values over the difference of the x values. Now here we have 4 minus 0, which is 4 minus 0. That's the difference of the y values. Down here we have 0 minus minus 2. That's 0 minus minus 2, which is the difference of the x values. That gives us 4 over 2, which is 2. So the slope of this line is 2. Calculating the y-intercept is very simple. It is the y-coordinate where the line cuts the y-axis. In this particular case, the number is 4. That is, the y-intercept is 4. Now note here, the line goes through the number 4. So this is the y-intercept. It's just a number. So when you are asked for the y-intercept, you just give the number. You don't have to give the point. Finally, the equation of the line is found by substituting m equals 2 and b equals 4 into y equals mx plus b. So, the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 4. See here, we put 2 for the m and we put 4 for the b. And that is the equation of this red line. Quick quiz. Now these are five questions which will help you with your understanding based on the information in the video. If you need to check through at any time, please do so. The slides are there for your information and to help you. What is the meaning of the following? The answer, think big. Interesting, isn't it? Not as easy as it looks. Here are the answers to the quick quiz. And as I've said many times before, please check through the video if you need to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.